The mother of two dead Idaho children is now facing two more felony charges. So far, no one in this case is being charged with murder. Fox 13's Adam Herbetz joins us from the newsroom with a look at how Lori Vallow is now responding to the new charges. Adam. Yeah, Bob Kelly, all year Lori Vallow has been bouncing in and out of court, first in Hawaii, then in Madison County, Idaho, and now in Fremont County. Her bail was already set at $1 million due to previous charges accused of lying to police about the location of her children. Now, for the first time, she is not arguing bail, accused of conspiracy to destroy or conceal evidence. The bodies of her two children hidden in the backyard. Right there in the bottom right-hand corner was her only surviving son, Colby. Ryan. Police say they have GPS proof from a cell phone that her brother Alex Cox right there was in Chad Daybell's yard the day Tylee was buried a few weeks before her 17th birthday last September and police say Alex Cox came back to bury JJ later that month. They say they do not believe he acted alone or without the mother's knowledge because Chad and Lori both lied about the kids location for months. Investigators say the cell phone data proves it only took 17 minutes. Quote, due to the depth and width of the grave the body was located in and the rocks and paneling found in the grave, it would be impossible for one person to have dug that grave, placed a body in it, placed the rocks and paneling in the grave, and covered it back up in 17 minutes. Police say when they yes. found J.J.? This is not something that you can just get on a, you know, a computer and, and quickly get up. This is, this is taking a lot of data points, a lot of information uh, that, that come from the cell phone towers and the information, setting that down with somebody that knows what they're doing. Reliable. And it is reliable. Investigators say at the autopsy, when they found JJ, they recognized his face instantly. But when they found Tylee, her remains were so burned they had to compare those remains to dental records. Our experts say it looks like police are getting ready for a potential defense, where Chad and Lori try to put all of the blame on her brother, which is easier to do because, remember, Alex Cox died last December in Arizona of, quote-unquote, natural causes. So far, nobody is being charged with murder or conspiracy to commit murder, at the very least, until the kid's autopsy is finished. Live in the newsroom, Adam Herbitz, Fox 13 News, Utah.